it's your girl coco your boy baby five of course he's in his stroller y'all and coco look real rough but don't judge me y'all me and five over slept before we get into this video make sure y'all like comment subscribe make sure y'all hit that bell make sure y'all right in there yeah y'all and y'all know i got a hair appointment tomorrow because i look rough but we are currently at five's ent appointment this is his six month post-op i don't know if that's what it's called but they they looking they about to check out his ears and make sure everything is okay i'm out of breath because we woke up at 9 15 his appointment was at 10 15 so but five looking good though so that's all that matters the kid is looking great so we're gonna get in here and check get checked out and then i'll be back gang so a whole hour and 30 minutes later we are finally in the room and surprisingly they put us in the red room which is cool because five has on red today tell me how y'all think this little sweater look i wanted him to wear this so bad i put it on him yeah and as y'all see i gave in for the pacifier so we are at the ent the ears nose and throat doctor so now we're just waiting for him to come so we can chat y'all Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I have a major update on fire, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we are leaving this ENT appointment. Five, sometimes he show out, sometimes he did it. I will say he did not really show out as much today, but we are going to go have lunch with Mama Coco, and she need me to take her to the grocery store. Um, Mama Coco back and everything is still a little messed up, so she can't sit up long enough to drive her own car, it hurts. So Coco's gonna go take her and then we're gonna come back home and we're gonna do that Wednesday mental check-in and everything, y'all. And we might cook, y'all. We might have some wings because I cleaned up the kitchen real good last night. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. Oh, and I'm so sad, y'all. I have not talked to Danielle. It just sucks because the new prison that she's at, they get a call every other day. And it's the every other day that kills me because it be feeling like it's two days. Like, you know what I mean? So, I'm just trying to stay strong for five, you know? But I love y'all. All right, here's gang. So we just made it to my mom's. I told you I was coming over here to take her somewhere. Y'all, so five always mess with my mom little Buddhas that's in the window. So my mom made him his own window little play area. I don't know what this is, but it says, it's a lot of stuff in there. And then she got a miss. Why is pink? I don't know. My mom just be grabbing stuff, but we do, We she do have another grand um, child. So. Uh, Cause if you break it, I'm gonna be. No. Then she got Ryan. Go look, go look. You're sick. In the window. And then she got this got little thing. Mom. I don't know what it is. It's like a snow globe. She's so crazy. But we finna go eat y'all at King Taco. So. I look so crazy. But we at King Taco. In Little California. Y'all know this is my favorite, favorite, favorite food. Mama Coco didn't want to get out, and Five was kind of falling asleep. Mama Coco just want me to take her <laughs> to get a shampoo for her house. I keep trying to tell her she could just rent one, but she want to buy one. So we want to get Mama Coco a um, shampooer. She gonna drive and I'm gonna eat. So stay tuned, look. Hey y'all, so Mama Coco is okay to drive. Is your back hurting? A little bit. But you're good? Yeah. And look at Coco in the grub down. Five is sleep. you can't see him cause this car seat is turned. He got that car seat, it's like a 360 revolve. When he falls asleep, you just turn it around. And then when he get bigger, you get to lift the back to where like his head, his legs are not squished. But I wanted y'all to see me eat, but you're not gonna be able to cause I don't have my truck on. But I'm gonna let y'all see me how well it tastes. Mm. You want some, mama? Mm -hmm. So I got this. I got mealy chicken tamale, and I got fiber chicken tamale. Romance is at school, y'all. He started school on Monday. So, mm. I got pull my seatbelt. All right, I'll be back. Harris gang so we're finally at home we made it home five is watching his abc's y'all and if y'all wonder why i keep doing this five head butted me y'all he hit me so hard in the back of my head we was on facetime with danielle's mom and he got too excited and went boom so my eye hopefully it does not leave a mark because coco has some really good news 
to share with you guys and I'll share that at the end of this video or will I you know I'll be forgetting but um and then at the end of this video I got the cards I'm gonna open them with you I have to figure out where mama Coco put them she be trying to organize my stuff but really not organizing my stuff but I appreciate mama Coco so shout out to mama Coco y'all so okay the first thing we're gonna address um since today is Wednesday mental check-in is five in his ear appointment his ENT appointment and how did that go so I don't know if you guys remember I did a video back in November yeah it was November for when he five went to have his hearing test after he after the ear tubes had been placed so they can't tell me exactly um the hearing people the hearing hear, I don't know what it's called the earologist whatever that took the hearing test on five could not tell me like the results because obviously I probably wouldn't understand but she tried her best to tell me that he did good that his ears are good but the test that five took was for older kids they're not made for one-year-olds and under they're not I think they're made for like probably five and up six and up seven and up I'm not sure but they're not made for toddlers well five-year-olds taller but whatever so but surprisingly he did good his ears responded very well since he's had gotten the tubes put in his ears if y'all hear that noise that's five in his play area doing his thing i'm gonna let y'all see how he play in there my eye is ringing y'all um so anyway he did good so this was his six month post-op seven most post-op uh checkup for his ent appointment or whatever so we went and they said his ears look great everything is great so he got to the speech so they said before if we would never have got the tubes put in five ears that his speech probably would have been delayed and he probably would have had a speech impediment i think that's what it's called i'm sorry if i don't you guys correct me down below um i got a hangnail in my finger um sorry y'all um yeah so they said his speech what the hell his speech will be affected if he did not get the ear tube so we went ahead and got the ear tubes because we did not want his speech affected and we feel like the reason why um he had not started like saying little words is because he couldn't really hear us too well or it sound like underwater like mufflish so furthermore um we got to the topic about the doctor asking well actually i asked the doctor like what well, is he supposed to be talking right now so you guys are aware five does not talk he says little words and i don't think it's anything wrong with him i think he will talk when he's ready so he says little words he says mama he says ee -E. he says man man he doesn't say nani he doesn't say lola he says some cuss words sometimes. Y'all got to blame that on Mama Coco, but that doesn't, that's not the point. Um, and he's learning how to say apple. He's learning how to say open. Furthermore, when five needs things done, he knows how to use his gestures and everything. So I can know exactly what he wants. So I'm not worried about that. I see a lot of things going on on TikTok. Like, come here, five. No, no, no. Oh, y'all, look, he just, he he's sweeping and he just threw the trash in the, in the trash bag. Okay. He's so smart. So, um, I see a lot of things on TikTok saying that, oh, if your baby's not talking by 18 months, five is 20 months. If your baby's not talking by 18 months or something, he's delayed and all this other stuff, he's special. No, I do not believe that. Um, my parents always told me, my family, everybody, I guess it's a proven back fact that boys develop slower than girls, which is true because um, Danielle's mom has another granddaughter and she's about five age and she she says little words but that doesn't make me feel anything about my baby i just i just used the example i was talking to dale's grandmother we were talking about him going to i'll tell y'all where he's going but um we were just basically saying like everybody wanted five to walk before he was one but i stopped putting the pressure on him and you guys helped me you were like when he's ready he will which he did Hold on, y'all. I'm trying not to let five watch Blippy because I'll tell y'all that in a sec. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, y'all know he started walking like a couple of weeks after his first birthday. Great, because we were kind of worried that his legs were too big or he didn't have any ankles. You know, just people have an opinion. Not our family, but just people, TikTok, everybody have their opinion on why he's not walking yet. So, now let's fast forward back to ENT. So the doctor was like, it's totally normal. Boys do develop slower, but I will send him to speech therapy and put an authorization for him to go to speech therapy. Shout out to his ENT because I love her. She works with me. She makes sure I does not, I do not freak out and I really appreciate her for, appreciate her for that. So he's going to be going to speech therapy. Um, once the authorization get approved, they're going to call me. So I want to say probably about a couple of weeks because that takes a while for the insurance to approve um, the authorization. So... 
basically i was just getting on here to ask you guys like if you guys have little boys at what age did your son actually start saying like words not really sentences but like um cup or he already says eat or food or apple or just anything to show you like actually verbally speak to you or did your kid use gestures so that was my question so um we were just talking we have we're having a family discussion and we just all decided that five needs to go to basically like a play care like not really a daycare but like just so he could be around more kids because besides him being about around romance he's around maurice which is daniel's little cousin which is five's first cousin um so and he's around his little cousins he's around dallas but you know dallas is like extreme for her age she's a girl and she has five jumping off the walls all the time so we actually signed him up for a jamboree camp and he starts next week and it's like he goes well, i picked the package at first i was gonna do the six but his grandmother his lola which is danielle's mom said that was just a little bit too much for him like the six the six times a month so we're gonna go once a week to jamboree class and they let you pick so it's like runners crawl it's arts and crafts but i'm not gonna do arts and crafts because five like to put things in his mouth but like just so he can be around other kids and he can learn how to say excuse me or right there or anything like that just to interact because i do agree that we're always in the house and like y'all say i always be shopping but five needs like one-on-one -on -one with more kids being in the house with his mom it's not always probably the best thing but I don't know i was a little skeptical at first because you know it is like a lot of little viruses going out but at the end of the day five is healthy we pray a lot and he take he doesn't take his vitamins but he takes his medicine i make sure he stays hydrated and he's very clean and i'm i hope and pray that this place is very clean i read the reviews and i know it's very clean but you know sometimes you can't put nothing past nobody so i will vlog his first day i'm gonna call it school at school he goes on monday so hopefully it's fun and i just want him to learn how to interact with more kids we were in an elevator was it no where were we at we were in a wait were we in the elevator dang no i'm lying we were out eating the other day and we were in the waiting room and this cutest little girl i want to say she said he was seven years younger than her so she was eight um and he she was saying hi to five she had a doll she was showing him and he was so shy he put his head on my chest and was like looking to see if she was looking but she was so sweet she kept talking to him and stuff like that their parents raised her really well because i like when people take their time with five seeing that he can't really talk right now you know he's not really a lot of around a lot of people but i really appreciate that from her i don't know who she is i can't remember her name but shout out to her so yeah y'all just give me some like details and comments and feedback on how you guys feel and like how was y'all experience with y'all little boys like you know Woo. okay now the next thing i want to talk about is danielle y'all um so y'all know it's been raining a lot in california or whatever and danielle has been transferred to a different place for now just for just for temporarily um and the place that she's at right now it was raining and the the unit that they're in it's leaking it's not just leaking in her cell though it's leaking in everyone's cell um and she said her bed was wet her clothes was wet and everything like that and i get it they're in prison like no they're not supposed to get royalty treatment at all but we are all human and of course some people don't understand that but if it was i'll be i'll be expecting people to put themselves in our position and i say our which is speaking from danielle's family and me our family um because like if it was your loved one you will want them at least to have like a cozy place not even cozy a dry place to sleep so right now we, we just have been trying to like handle that because no i don't want her to have special treatment she did what she did and she's content with her time and everything but yeah her bed is wet she said she said her clothes are wet her papers and stuff are not wet she said it's because they're in a plastic bag um but she said today she woke up and it was mold on the wall because it did not rain yesterday so we've been calling 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 trying to just get that situation fixed so just keep her in your prayers y'all because we want them to free danielle like, even if they was to put her on house press, because at this point, it's like, you guys clearly are not fixing the walls in there for her. So, yeah, y'all, I was just a little bit stressed out. But Danielle, she's a trooper. She's like, it's okay. I only have seven, because she's in quarantine. I only have seven more days here, blase, blase. But, you know, me and her mom, oh, we're tripping, tripping. Not tripping, like, tripping in, like, the most respectful manner. Like, you know, because we just want her to be treated well. Like, you know, that's our baby. So, that's the update on Danielle, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we're back, we're back, we're back. I had to tend to five for a bit. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tell y'all cause it's not like nothing like that, but I am kind of proud of myself. I finally, like every now and then, my Coco, the real mama Coco, she gets a little bit overwhelmed and I just learn, I just take myself from like the world and I just try to like, you know, vibe out by myself sometimes. 
And if y'all follow me on Instagram, I don't technically be by myself, but I be by myself. So, um, my friend, she's not like my friend like that, but like, she's my friend. Um, she reached out to me and she has a hairline and she asked me to model with her. And I said, yeah, so that's really cool. I have a photo shoot on Friday modeling her brand. So stay tuned for that. I'm trying to get one of my friends to come with me so I can vlog it so you guys can see. Because she's been in the hair business for a long time. And when I first started buying hair, like back, back, back in the day, y'all, I was buying it from her. Um, so, so yeah. Somebody, shout out to whoever bought me, y'all, the phone holder. I'm looking for it right now. Y'all bought me a phone holder and I'm finna use it. So that's one thing we gonna unbox. They sent it to the PO box. I really love that y'all send me little things. I really, 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 really do appreciate it, y'all. And I needed this. Y'all look. So yeah, so I get my hair done for the shoot on um comes in a little box thing on tomorrow, which is Thursday. And we're gonna do talk to Thursday. I get my hair done for the shoot on Thursday, and then I um the photo shoot is actually, and then it comes with this, but now I have to figure out how to put it on. The photo shoot is actually on, um, boo yeah. What's up? I really like this. Thank you so much. It wasn't a note in here. Oh, it says from doctor underscore o o z e m b o o z e o doctor oozing treats i'm sorry if i just said it wrong but thank you so much because this is a dope ass i'm sorry i'm gonna be cussing dope ass gift because y'all be seeing me trying to like cook and get it together i haven't really got it together so once we're off camera i'm gonna figure out how to really use it but this is what's up this this is really what's up this is what's fucking up. Okay. So, we have cards, y'all. So, let's get into the cards. Okay. So, this one is from my homegirl from Vegas, y'all. Some of the, um, they sent so many. They're, like, consistent. I don't know the, ad, not the addresses, but the cities. Oh, this is from, they didn't say who it was from. Okay, it says, hey, Danielle, put so cold. It's Vegas lady. Yes, I know it was her on Instagram. I know I, um, I've um i been looking and sending cards to you, um, but my, oh, wow, I'm so sorry. I'm going to read this one off camera because this is very, this is very sad, but I'm going to DM her. Okay, this says, happy birthday, Danielle. This is how long I have not been to the PO box and only because it's far from our house. So it says, I'm hoping so many good things for you this year. And it has a lot of little openings in. It's from Rebecca F. Rebecca F always sends the good cards. I will sit and read them all, but I'm not. The video is kind of long, but I like this card. I really like this card, y'all. I pray that they send Danielle home this year. Um, she said that there's some talk around the prison saying like when she goes to committee this time that they're going to drop some time. So I hope so. This is two the Harris family oh it's a doggy I'm late it said deck the halls with um with lots of jolly it says thinking of you this holiday season sending love hugs and blessings and joy hope Christmas finds you feeling extra merry extra merry love Rebecca F from the hair um to the Harris family thank you Rebecca F I have all y'all cars still please do not ever 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 think and I keep these because one day you'll come home I want to do something special for y'all probably won't be too much but I just want y'all to know that the attention and everything that you guys give us, the support, does not never go unnoticed, ever. This is a letter, and I'm actually not going to read it out loud because it's for Danielle. But let's just see, because last time, <laughs> I didn't know. I think I told y'all I sent a letter to Danielle, and sometimes I don't want to read all her stuff. I want her to be able to have some privacy. I just send it to her. It was somebody in there trying to get with her. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, it says Danielle. Um, okay, I'm not going to read it. She writes very pretty. My eyes squinting. I need some new glasses. But thank y'all. Her name was Maya. Maya. This says to Danielle. They loving Danielle. I'm loving when y'all loving Danielle. I want to address something. Y'all ask me why do I talk to... Why do I talk to myself in third person? Talk about myself. I don't know. 
It says, you matter. She definitely does. Grateful you decided to be a star you were born to be. Your light reaches people in places you might never know exist. Keep it, keep shining, keep aspiring, and keep your head up, Maya. That's the girl who just wrote that letter, and I appreciate you, Maya, for sending that. That was a really dope part. Okay, this is to the Harris family. It says, even in our deepest sadness, <clears throat> he's there weeping us, mourning us, and understanding our need to ask why. And right now, I'm praying that he will hold you close and let his unfailing love heal your heart with sympathy and caring. This is a really nice card. I'm happy that it's silver because they can't really have glitter, but it has like an effect of glitter. So that's like cool. <clears throat> this is to... Hey, this is to Coco. Oh my God. It was my birthday. It says to Candace, so sweet yourself, right? Have a very happy birthday from Rebecca F. I love Rebecca F. I love all y'all, but Rebecca F, she's been rocking. She sends lots of cards. Not just for me, not for five, but not for Danielle, for everybody. This says Merry Christmas. And it says, Merry Christmas to the Harris gang. I'm wishing you many blessings and much happiness in 2023. You are loved by your supporters. Um, love Simone Griffin, Simone.2K on Instagram, y'all. Thank you, Simone. This is for Danielle. I only got two more, y'all. I got some more. Mama Coco didn't answer her phone, so I just had to find these. Happy holidays. It says, the best wishes of you and your... Oh, the best wishes of, to you and your family on this holiday season. Merry Christmas, Danielle. You have been blessed with a beautiful family. I love seeing your wife on Instagram and YouTube. Keep your head up and know you're loved and missed by your supporters. So, Mom. I'm going to send her all these once she can she can get mail, but I just don't want it to get lost. This is the Coco. My type of cord. It says, age and glasses of wine should never be should never be counted, period. It says, happy birthday, Candy Dirty 30. Be good to you and you are an amazing wife and mother. Danielle and Baby 5 couldn't have a, a more beautiful soul. Simone K. Simone 2K on Instagram. P.S. I love your long nails. LOL. I do it too. Long curve and designer. Period. I went short just. I don't know why. Because I went to the nail shop, y'all. I love that car, by the way. I'm going to put that up in um, our office. That I'm, I call the office. It's just a corner. Um, I went to the nail shop. They acted as if they didn't have enough time to do my nails. Which they probably didn't. Because it takes at least two and a half hours. So I just went ahead and got um, a short set. Just because I didn't want to be walking around with nubs. This is to the Harris family from Brie Willis. I'm familiar with her too. She's been rocking with us. Y'all all been rocking, but they really be rocking. Okay. It says, I'm wishing you a year full of wonderful, full of wonderful, where all of your dreams come into focus and your every prayer is answered. I'm wishing you a year where all good you send out into the world comes back to you, press down, shaken together. And running over, I'm wishing you a year like nothing you ever seen before. Extraordinary enough for you, for the one and only you. Happy birthday. Thank you, y'all. And I'm just gonna address that card. This is a long vlog. I'm feeling myself, y'all. I'm I'm back, I'm back in my I'm back in my ground, y'all. But Coco trying. I really appreciate y'all. I love the cards, I love the inspiring words. But I want to do something different this year. Not different, like I want to do a business because y'all see the little baby kid didn't go so far. I see a lot of pages now. Doing them and that's fine. Eat. Like, you know. Um, we still sell an edge control, but I haven't been pushing it. But I want to push our brand to like a little bit more. Like, I feel like we could really be somewhere and I beat myself up all the time because we should have been somewhere right now. Like the way we progressed on TikTok and then came to YouTube and progressed and then Danielle went away and like we had a standstill. I feel bad, but I feel like it's because I'm bottling up so many emotions, y'all. This gotta be my favorite mental Wednesday check-in, and I ain't drinking. We finna have a drink. Five, get down um he on the table that's why he going to class um but yeah y'all um i'm thinking about deactivating my face my instagram i haven't been so in tune in the facebook group but i want to y'all so i'm trying to get back in there but i want to just just activate my instagram for a little bit just to focus on our brand school school started on monday no what the fuck hey get out of there Mo. I ain't gonna tell y'all what he did. <laughs> but um, I just wanna focus more. I feel like 
I feel like we had to stand still because of the car. I'm going to just blame myself, but sorry for cussing, but yeah. So, yeah, y'all, Harris gang. Um, comment down below if y'all think I should deactivate my Instagram. I love my Instagram, but y'all be like, no, 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 don't go. But I stay because of y'all, but I feel like it distract me a little bit. Just a little. So, anyway, Harris gang, I'm going to just go ahead and end this little mental health check-in so I could um, edit this video and um, <clears throat> upload it. Y'all said I'm doing a little bit better with the vlogs, and I'm so happy that y'all think so. Thank y'all. I'm trying. I love y'all. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check out. I mean, I'm out. I love y'all, Harris Game, baby. Five of y'all. Most of our Danielle love y'all. Y'all. Y'all need to write that prison for Danielle and tell them, like, please, 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 please. I'm just playing. But, like, I just want her help to be taking care of y'all. I love y'all. We out.